What are the odds that it's Boar Priest? Boar Priest is doing really well right now, or at least I, I'd assume it is. We're gonna get rid of Revive Pet, it's not needed, but the other cards can stay. Pet Collector, after uh, getting a Sunken Saber off of this, gives us a 50-50 chance of getting the Sunken Saber. I mean, okay, this gives me a Jaren Saber, and then this has a 50-50 chance of being Sunken. And do you think Mage decks will be stronger? Um, they did nerf Naga Mage, which I do think was Mage's best deck, so no. But I do think that, um, some of the Mage decks will be better. Like, I think Mech Mage might get a little bit of a, little bit of a boost because some of the other decks were nerfed. What do you think about Cursed Warlock, uh, when its worst matchups didn't get nerfed at all? Mmm. I think Cursed Warlock, if you know what you're doing, is still pretty decent and fun. But I also do think that it's not going to be like groundbreaking or meta breaking at all. The coin? Coining out a 3 4. We get a saber. We love that. We love to see a saber here. We're just going to do everything in our power to like kill off those minions. The best deck right now? A lot of people have asked me that, and I honestly don't know the answer to that question right now. Um, but I'd say it's probably either Beast Warrior, some sort of mid-range Shaman, Mech Paladin, or Boar slash Naga Priest. I think that they're both really, really, really good. Interesting. We can't actually play anything this turn, which sucks. We'll hit that. That way, if he heals it, we can still try to kill it with the Saber. Let me play this turn five. We just need hope he doesn't scale up super duper hard really fast. Okay. This is doable. This is actually fine. We can kill off at least a couple of things and develop a decent board here. Boom, kill that off. So we're gonna need Pet Collector to win the 50-50 and get Sunken Saber. We've lost the last three 50-50s with one Sunken Saber, one Asharan Saber, which means statistically speaking, trust me, I took economics and stats in college. Trust me, I know. Uh, which means we're guaranteed Guaranteed to win the 50-50 this time. Not a doubt in my mind. Which deck should you craft? I feel like it's a bit early to um, know exactly what deck to craft at this point. We are guaranteed to win the 50-50. I hate statistics. That's so stupid. We've missed it every single time. Oh, it's fine. We go Selective Reader and then we play Sunken Saber. Turn six. That's so lame. We've missed it every single time. You failed statistics. <laughs> oh, man. I did not fail statistics. Statistics failed me. If you think about it, the Demon Hunter Legendary makes Xylax stronger, right? Because it's a 7-7 seven, seven sticking on the board. It's more threatening. Oh, if you think about it, yeah, the plus one, plus one stats is actually a buff because it's harder to kill. Like, what does seven damage? I mean, you can do, what is it? You can do six damage, easy peasy, right? But seven, that's hard to come by. And so if you think about it, if you think about it, it's actually a buff. Is it? Uh, but what if this doesn't get me Sunken Saber? I think this is probably just best, honestly, and we go for um, Explosive Trap, which hurts my soul. But whatever, we'll go for Explosive, and then we'll also play Improved Ice Trap, because we don't really need Snake Trap, right? We just want to make sure he can't pump up his minions. Ah, tis a sad day. I think he's just safer, because if we missed on the Sunken Saber with the Selected Breeder, because we have four different beasts in our deck, there's a world where we get overrun and we lose. Everything's always 50-50. Isn't it 33% for Sunken? Wait, what did he just play? Oh, sick, okay. Generate a Sharn Saber. Aren't there two Sabers and one Sunken? No, this deck only runs one uh, a Sharn Saber. You generate extra copies with Revive Pet and or Selective Breeder or Devouring Swarm. So you actually only have one at any given time in your deck. So it's it's, it's to maximize the effectiveness, right? It's to make it a 50-50 every time and not a 33% chance. We just happen to be missing it every single time, basically.
Um, we could go Harpoon Gun or Selective Breeder here. I'm going to go Selective Breeder, and if we miss, we can just play Harpoon Gun. We don't miss, though. We never miss these. I'm telling you, 100% of the time. And then we get... Oh, uh, that's kind of bad. I'm not going to lie. That's a little bit lame. All I need to do is pop off and play Bless. We need to make sure he doesn't have... Ooh, good play. Actually, good play. We have to figure out a way to, to kill off all the minions he has on the board. Which is going to be very difficult to do, actually. We can play Ambassador. And then Revive Pet. Oh, but Revive Pet with Hydralodon messes up everything. We'll play Revive Pet. And if we get Sunken Saber, we commit. If we don't get Sunken Saber, we don't commit Ambassador Phelan. Oh my gosh. We're so doomed. We're actually doomed. I don't think there's a way we can kill off all the minions, which means we're just going to get overwhelmed. Unless we get Devouring Swarm. That makes it doable. We got the Sunken Saber, which means we commit Ambassador. And then we, um... Then we... Actually, we hit this. Now, hear me out. We hit this and hit this and then we go devouring swarm to kill this the one two hits then the four two hits and we pull out a minion and then these two get back into my hand and we can discover a new card darn it we got a sunken saber off of that that's not what i wanted to see what i wanted to see was a colossal minion but luckily that'll pull out more stuff so it's fine and we're in a pretty good spot now we have ways of generating more minions not to mention we have a decent minion in my hand. We can play Akani at some point if we need to. I'm going to drop the question again. Any hot takes on Edwin plus Shadow Sip interaction combo? Fair, unfair? Am I the only one that hates the interaction? It only works if you Shadow Step him with a Shadow Step that you draw. So I think it's balanced. You can't just Shadow Step him with a normal card. With the, uh, with the other Shadow Step. Or with the Shadow Step that started in your hand beforehand. So I think it's a pretty fair interaction. Which mountain range borders India and has Mount Everest? Uh, I grew up in the USA, so our geography education is absolute garbage. I do not know. And it doesn't look like chat knows either because there are a couple of different answers here. Um, we're going to go Harpoon Gun and just see what's at the bottom. Actually, we'll go Selective Breeder first. We could go Selective and then just drop Mountain Bear just to be safe. I'll take another Sunken Saber, because it's cheap, it's removal, and it pulls out more things. Let me just go Mountain Bear. I'm very confused why he'd play that first. I played a Taunt Minion just to make sure I don't get, like, blown out of the water somehow here. What sea surrounds Greece? That's Mediterranean. I didn't know that. That's European geography. We focused on European history and geography. That, that at least I know a little bit. Oh no. Oh no! This could get out of hand very quickly, actually. Actually, no, it can't. Sorry, squishy. I'm Reducing the spell's cost by two with Brand doesn't do anything. How much damage do I have? I have 14. Will Hero Power Food get Leoc or Huffer? I think we win, right? Oh! That's a decent amount of mana cheat right there. That's, that's, um. It's not that impressive, actually. You know what? Maybe I should have taken King Crush for potentially pushing lethal, but... Bless? And then heal? Okay, actually, we might not get lethal here. Now I'm thinking about it. Oh, dear lord. Wait, they all just became so much tankier. Um, We got Huffer. That's 18. 21 damage. We might actually just trade in here. I think that if we can survive this board, we win, no? So I think what we should do is we just wipe this board because we can't get lethal here, unfortunately. 
I'm gonna make room in case I get a Colossal Minion. We get King Crush. Well, that's lame. Fine, we'll play each of these though. I hate this game. We'll kill this off. And we'll go face with this and this. And uh, we'll kill off this, I guess. I mean, there was no guarantee I was going to get King Crush off of that, right? Like, if I had known I was going to get King Crush... I mean, we had to give up four damage anyway to even have a chance of doing that. I don't think I necessarily made a misplay here. I don't necessarily think the play was perfect. But I don't think it was lethal. I mean, I don't think I had a way of getting lethal. So I thought controlling the board and winning the game next turn was correct. And I think, I I mean, I'd make that same play every single time. We could say hindsight's 2020, but it's fine. Um, we're going to get rid of a revive pet because we don't need it this early on in the game. But Slither Spear into Naga's Pride to get these little fishies out there. Not bad. And then a Sharon Saber is not the greatest thing in the world. We don't necessarily want to draw that, but it's fine. And also, most likely this is Rogue. Nobody's playing Druid, especially after the nerf. It's basically already a bad class. After the nerf, it's even worse. Yeah, there are new nerfs. If you want to check it out, the pinned comment is, um... Or the pinned thing on the stream is the, uh video reacting to the nerfs and basically going over every single one of them but yeah drawing king crush here is not the greatest not at all point out wild growth i'm assuming if you are going druid wild we get two of those it's fine we get to play you next turn it doesn't really run silence so we just basically keep flooding the board as much as possible yeah, I'm not a fan of drawing King Crush. My biggest issue with this deck, I guess, is that several of the cards that are just like big beasts are dead cards in your hand if you draw them early. And also, if you draw them early, you can't pull them out of your deck. So it basically makes the saver worse as well. The greed of expansions every four months is too much. It's killing Hearthstone. I strongly disagree. Very strongly disagree, actually. I mean, new sets come out constantly for other games. Magic has a new set that comes out every three months, not to mention, like, sets specific for, for Legacy, sets specific for Commander. Magic is way more expensive. Yu-Gi-Oh! has new stuff coming out all the time, and because it's mostly a physical card game, and they're both based on physical card games, they can't, like, patch cards as consistently as Hearthstone, so you don't get, like, dust refunds. If they ban a card... You just lose all money value on it. Um, I mean, I'm not saying Hearthstone is cheap, but I am saying that it... And I'm not saying Blizzard itself isn't greedy, but I'd say that, like, as far as card games go, Hearthstone is a pretty decent model. Also, if they didn't come out with expansions every four months, the game would get stale, and people wouldn't play it as often. Yeah, I, I agree with that as well. Like, I think if they just gave you a little bit more, like, start of every expansion, they gave you, like, 1,600 dust to craft whatever legendary you want at first. I think that could be really, really, really cool. We're going to play that. Pulls out a minion. It's pretty solid. This other pet collector is going to be kind of useless. That's fine. This will pull out another minion, and it's, it's pretty good. Like, I think that would be nice, or some other ways of earning dust. But even then, the free-to-play in Hearthstone is... I mean, obviously, it's not as good as Legends of Runeterra, but it's come a long way with duplicate protection. The Battle Pass is better than before. Um, the Battle Pass not only gives you more gold overall but than, like, the old quest system, but it also gives you some individual cards and a free Legendary. Like, again, I'm not defending Hearthstone 100%. I do think that it is still very expensive, and in some cases too expensive for an average person to have a complete collection, but I don't think it's terrible either. I'm not going to be playing Jackpot Rogue tonight, sadly. He kills off everything except the Sunken Saber, which is basically exactly what he should have done. That was that was a good play, actually. We put Ramming Mount on you, because we want you to survive. No, we go Scribe, Ramming Mount, Hero Power. 
Because we want this to die, right? We want this to this to die. We don't want that to die. We're setting up for maybe a King Crush. We got Pet Collector. We can go Devouring Swarm on the 4-3. Maybe summon an extra thing. Um, but yeah, not getting a Revive Pet or Selective Breeder for an extra Sunken Saber is a little bit lame. But it's fine. Moonlight Guidance on 6 mana. I don't know what he does on 6 that saves him. Hearthstone is still the most fun, even if it's expensive. I agree with that. I actually am having a lot of fun with Hearthstone. And I do like the fact that they come out with patches fairly regular. Dude, I'm so sorry. Uh, fairly regularly. Okay. So we're basically gonna go hard to the face. No, stop drawing me my stupid beast, man. Cringe, actually cringe. And then we can kill off a 4-5 with Devouring Swarm, and then we can just play Mountain Bear. Devouring Swarm, this hits, this hits. It dies, we pull out a minion. It's a Mountain Bear. And then I think we just play Mountain Bear. I only have two Mountain Bears out there. Two Mountain Bears out there. Be there or be square. I don't think that's very fair. But, there aren't really many decks that compare. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with this. Dropping bars or being cringe. Maybe a little bit of both. I don't know. I personally prefer Magic the Gathering more. Hearthstone is still okay. I think that Magic the Gathering was fun. It just had, um, I don't like the land system. And because of the land system, I slowly grew away from the game. Because it's like, Hearthstone, sometimes you feel like there's nothing you can do, right? Um, but in Magic, like, if you don't draw lands or you draw too many lands, there literally, there's literally nothing you can do. Like, you don't even have the option to play cards sometimes. And because of that, I drifted away from, from Hearthstone. Or not Hearthstone, from Magic. I still play it occasionally with my friends because my dad really loves the game. And I still, like, f know of it, you know? I still play it with friends sometimes. But Magic is definitely my go-to. Looking fresh, Ecor? In what world am I looking fresh? I look like I just woke up eyes puffy at the bottom little beard but not much and like kind of messy hair it's a mess man and we still don't win with stupid king crush yet man golly um ooh, we have 16 damage okay so if we play tavish and we hero power and it is either huffer or leoc we win we can't play any spells to get you to activate, so that's not going to work. We play you, and we're going to hero power. We're going to stop a spell, and then I think we're also going to play... I mean, emergency doesn't really do much, because this thing spawns to... I mean, it could just be freezing, but then he gets to heal himself back up to 8, so it's fine. We'll just go with emergency maneuvers. And then we hero power. Leoc or Huffer? Of course it's Misha! It's always Misha! <laughs> no! This is how it ends. We stop a spell. I mean, he could bait that with an inner bait. Maybe I should have stopped. I don't know. Fudge, man. I'm so upset. I had a 66% chance of winning. If he somehow comes back and wins this game, I'm going to be so sad. Tabletop Simulator is a great way to play MTG since you have access to every card. Okay, but I also feel like it'll be very, very frustrating. Um, in the sense that, like, you have to play so many cards and there's so many triggers sometimes. And whenever I play Tabletop Simulator, it just doesn't feel as smooth as, you know, real life. It, it just feels clunkier and, like, stuff you're gonna do is slower. Um, does he potentially win here? He has to kill off this minion. Then he needs to kill off 4 more HP and taunt, this, this, this. He needs to kill off 16 HP and taunt. I'm pretty sure that I win, although it's not 100%. And yeah, Hydro Law is the only beast left in the deck. Now you lose? Don't say that! Take that back, Spartan. Mother of God. Why? Oh, dude, we lose. We actually lose. No. No, we're fine. We play King Crush and we still win. 
God, I hate this game. If he had somehow come back from that, I would have lost my goddamn mind. That was well played, though. Like, he, he actually did almost come back from that, which is crazy. Oof. Um, I like this hand a lot. I think this hand is going to help me get a lot of value. And I mean a lot of value. You know, I took out Bran, which means you're not going to get double activation out of the Ambassador Phelan, but I think that's fine. Beast Warrior Pog. This is Hunter. We're talking about Warrior right now, but it, it, it is a Hunter deck right now. Um, Control Warrior was good, but only if you knew how to play it and it wasn't easy to play. I mean, again, I don't fully agree. We get a Sunken Saber. I do like that quite a bit. Because that's going to help me pull out other things and get more value. We'll take Sunken Saber so we can play it turn 4. Turn 3, turn 4, turn 5, basically. No Way Control Warrior was the best in the game. It never had better than a 4th best win rate. And it was difficult to play in an aggro meta and thought-provoking and had a few terrible matchups. I mean, because the meta was so aggressive is why it excelled as much as it did. Because Shield Shatter basically just shut down almost any deck. Um, if I get Mountain Bear, that's kind of nuts. I think that's actually maybe better than Sunken Saber. Or Asharan Saber, sorry. I think just playing that turn four seems pretty solid. So we'll do that. We'll play that next turn because it still reduces it by three. But, like, it also had Nelly for a potential OTK. It had an actual OTK. Kazakasan, some of the best control and armor gain in the entire game where... Several OTKs actually couldn't even do enough damage to kill you. We're not going to attack with the weapon this turn. You might be wondering why. Excellent question. Uh, the reason why is because I want to try to get more value out of it with the Asharan Saber. I guess we could have hit and gotten the uh, Harpoon Gun to the top of the... Oh, no. This is actually fine. This is genuinely fine. We play this. We can actually play everything and, and not lose it. We just have to play more mana, efficient, uh, mana efficiently. So I have to play Pet Collector first. And then I kind of want to dredge the weapon to the top. Sadly. We'll just dredge the weapon to the top and push a little bit more here. We'll take the weapon. Then we play Beast Stalker next turn, and then we go Devouring Swarm and Tracking and the Asharan Saber, and we're fine. If we don't want the Tracking, we could always just go the Weapon. We could always just play the Weapon the next turn, too. The amount of pressure that this deck is able to exert is kind of crazy sometimes. Oh, not bad. He does kill off a decent number of my things. The question is, if I do play Beast Stalker, Tavish, what else do I play? I guess I could play Tavish turn 7. We just lose this Saber. I kind of don't want to lose cards, though, you know? So what do I want to do here? How much damage? That's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We also have a Revive Pet to get the Mountain Bear back. And then we can play this and the Sunken Saber next turn. We lose the Asharan Saber, but I don't really mind that too much. So let's just push a lot of damage into his face here. And put threats on the board. I think just applying constant pressure is best. And we still have one turn to play Tapish, So it's not even like we're going to lose out on that much stuff here. They killed Controller and I'm here for it. True. The Nelly nerf was huge. Again, I think that they could have not nerfed the 5A Elemental. I think they could have given them at least that because they did nerf three other really important cards in Warrior. But I don't. I also don't mind them nerfing it because it was kind of dumb. What about Paladin giving Divine Shield Taunt to a 30-30 board? That's fair, right? I mean, I'm not saying Paladin shouldn't have been nerfed. When in my video, I even said, like, I don't know how... Oh! <gasps> Sunken Saber's not on top anymore! Wait, this guy's big brain, actually. No, he still have lethal, though. 
But I said that Mech Paladin should have been nerfed, and it'll be like the best deck in the game. It doesn't really matter what we pick. Thank goodness we have this interaction, right? Where we can keep them locked in the game because we're discovering a card. I'm gonna stop discovering though, but just so you know, if you wanna be a jerk, you can lock them in the discover animation and they're stuck in the game too. 